That's it, that's it. Gotcha! Ooh, Jesus! Holy crap! She absolutely slammed that thing. Hey there folks, welcome back to Cambo Shop Fishing or the Legion of Anglers, depending on which channel you're watching this on. And today we're getting into day two of our Florida trip. If you haven't seen day one, I'll leave a link. You can go ahead and go check that out. Got my first bullseye snakehead. A bunch of the rest of the team got their first bullseye. But today we add a lot of species to the list. And I'm telling you, when it comes to Florida down there, there's so many options, it's just insane. But I'll keep the intro nice, short, and sweet. Let's get to that fishing action. We have arrived at location number one today. Here's a view of the canal. We are going to start working our way down. Looks like he's got a nice one. He's really fighting it. Get him, bro. Nice one, dude. What is that? They're hitting like that over here? Yeah. Why am I on the canal? <laughs> Look at that. On the acorn. That's a nice one, bro. That's what we're here for. Yeah, we're dude. Slobs, dude. We're not here for babies. Yeah. Nice, dude. Freaking gorgeous. Yeah, they're all boiling. Look at this. Yeah, they're all over the place. That's yeah. snakes? Yeah, that's all snakes. Over. Holy sh. Boiling. How much? 33, bro. Freaking crazy. Look at him go. Woo! Oh, beast. Everything's a success at this point. <laughs> now I need a 35. Woo! That last snake that made me very happy, Steve. I bet, bro. <laughs> I feel like I came down here and I caught a big snake. I'm sure they yep. got bigger. Oh, yeah. But for me, over 30 inches is a good snake. Though. Exactly, dude. <laughs> he hit that. <laughs> I knew he would. Oh, what was that? What's that? What's that? Stop, please. Is that a gar? Oh, it's a gar. Don't worry about it. I see a bunch of fish down there, but they don't play snake yet. Oh, dude. Just can't hook him. You know what? I got a lure for the job. The snakehead aren't going to play, folks. I will catch what I can. But yeah, that soft plastic lure, it'll draw the strikes, but it won't be able to hook them. But this lure right here should draw the strikes, too. And it's got these little treble hooks on there that are sticky. I mean, sticky. Now I just need to find my gar. Here comes another gar. Oh, he missed it. That was a sweet hit, though. Come on. That's it. That's it. Gotcha. Oh, there's species number three. That's a mean set of teeth, man. He's probably just going to bend my trebles when I try to lift him up. How gently I can pull him up here. Woo! All right. I'm surprised that worked out. I thought that was gonna go sideways. <laughs> that is a cool fish, man. That's my first one in my life. It's not even just the third species on the day. I've never caught a. I think this is an alligator gar. It's definitely not a long nose. The mouth is way too broad. There we go. Hook is free. Hey, bro. Get a picture, man. Y'all could tell me at home if I'm smoking crack calling this an alligator gar. <laughs> I just know that it's not a long nose. I know that for a fact. <laughs> huh? Body gar? There such I mean, there is a spotted gar, but I don't think that they have mouths this broad. Holy crap, man. They're about as hard to hold on to as a snakehead. All right, beautiful. Oh. 
Yo. Hold on, bud. I'm putting you back. I just want to hold you up. I just want to hold you up. There you go. All right. Thanks, buddy. Huh? Oh. <laughs> there, he's in. He is in. In and chilling. I knew that would do it. You ready for yours now? Yeah, I'll give you this lure. <laughs> for those of you wondering at home, that's that Mega Frox Arowana. Every gar I've thrown it at has at least followed it. Most of them tried to strike it. But these little itty bitty treble hooks are super sticky. It's not really a gar bait, but if you need to get the job done, it gets the job done. All right, thanks. Yeah! Oh, is that snakehead? Woo! So Rashawn just got a really nice one on the acor. All right. Here he comes. Oh God! Oh! <laughs> He turned, but he's he's coming, he's coming. Ooh! He, oh, he's, he's he's hooked. Oh no, he's not. Okay. Ooh! <laughs> yes! Oh! <laughs> Man. Oh, here comes a gar on me. <laughs> hey, Angel. Is this fishable or off limits? Fishable? Ah. Nice bass going right in front of me. He sees this line, though. Another nice bass right here. They get pressure though. They definitely do. Oh, there are snakehead over here. Oh, Jesus. Holy crap. She absolutely slammed that thing. Oh, wow. Absolute beauty, too. There we go. Oh, <laughs> Let's bring you up here. Before I get my reel and everything all muddy. <laughs> Good God, these fish are insane. Uh, that's why I love them, though. That fighting spirit, man. Okay. Ouch! <laughs> you, you got me hooked a little bit. Little rascal. Cut it out. Grab you the right way now. There we go. Now to get my phone out. So folks, it's been slow on the other canal. So I asked Angel, I was like, hey, is it legal to fish this other canal right next to us? Like, yeah. Roger that. I'm here in the shade now. I've already seen three snakehead on shore. This roughly 23, 24 incher is one of those, I'm pretty sure. And she smashed that American snakehead custom inline spinner. Absolutely crushed it. What a beauty. Let's let her go. All right, my little beauty. One more shot of you. God, what gorgeous fish you are. Thank you so much. There he goes. <laughs> I was going to do a nice graceful send off, but I think she just wanted to get back. It's the only thing though, I go through like a swim bait per fish with these things, man. They are tearing it up. Now when we started this morning, we divided our crew. There's just too many of us to fish this canal all at the same time. So while Rashawn, Angel, me, Jared were fishing this half of the canal, half our other party started in a different area. So here's some of the action that they captured out there. And man, they had a shot at a big one.
Ow! Well, I would like to say that that would be the end of Giuseppe's difficulties with landing some fish out here. I can't say that, and you'll see in later videos exactly why I can't say that. But for today's video, let's get into some of the discussions about the lures, the tactics, and other lessons learned that we had out here on the water that should help you as well. Alright folks, that's the first half of today's action. We'll get into the second half and very, very soon here on the channel. But let's go into a couple different things. Let's talk about the lures, let's talk about the gear, and let's talk about the tactics that helped us be successful and some lessons learned that we were able to use later in the trip that greatly improved our success. So first things first, let's look at the lures. Now for me personally, one of the lures that was working really well was the American Snakehead Custom Inline Spinner. That's right here, that is a weedless spinner. I paired that with a four inch mega bath spark shad and that subsurface bite, for the most part, was the only bite that I could get from those darn bullseye snakehead, at least for a while. Later in the trip, I really dialed him in with the topwater action. But my teammates were doing really well on topwater, and what they were using for topwater were the Acor frogs. Now, the Acor frogs are made by our teammate, Angel Rocca, who was out there with us, showing us all around these Florida waters. And the thing I really like about them is look at that hook angle. That is stock, right out of the pack with that nice upward angle to it. And that really helps get penetration on the mouths, the hard mouths of those snakehead, be they northern or bullseye snakehead, it really helps. And since you don't have to adjust the hook angle, you don't run the risk of weakening the actual hook itself. So all around fantastic lures. Now, we use these primarily as topwater lures, up here in the northeast chasing northern snakehead down there in florida angel will actually allow these to sink a lot more often and i'm not saying sink fast but that slow sink that'll get it down to the bottom or down around the lips and edges of those canals that's a lot of times where those bullseye snakehead are lurking and bullseye seem to like that subsurface presentation a lot more than northerns in a lot of cases now the other lure i was using out there was for those florida gar and that was the Mega Frox Arowana. I already showed you that, but I'll leave links in the description to all the different lures that we saw used in this video. As far as gear goes, you're gonna want at least a heavy power rod. I like a fast or extra fast action tip, but you're gonna need that power to be able to lift those fish up the edges of those canals, and it can be really steep sometimes. So in that same vein, we were all pretty much using Berkeley X9 or Berkeley X5. It is a fantastic fishing line. Castability, abrasion resistance, strength, just absolutely phenomenal line. And we were all at down there, for the most part, using the Bangkok twist or the Bangkok hooker knot to attach our lures. And I'll go through that knot in a separate video. Now let's get into tactics. One thing that Angel already knew, because he fishes the canals all the time down there, but it was kind of a learning curve for us being from the Northeast is that it takes a long time for bullseye snakehead to reset after someone has fished that area. Like if there's someone in front of you on the canal, the odds of you catching any bullseye behind them are not very good. They're just not. Bullseye take a long time to reset after they get spooked or after they encounter a human. Northern snakehead on the other hand, they seem to recover much more quickly. Like you can have someone go in front of you with Northern Snakehead, as long as they're like, you know, 20 minutes or so in front of you, you'd probably be fine. Not down there in Florida. If I see somebody on a canal down there and <laughs> down in Florida, by the end of this trip, I was like, I'm going somewhere else. <laughs> it's like, I don't care if they were here, like even three or four hours ago, I'm going somewhere else. It takes them that long to reset. It seems like either half a day or a full day. So keep that in mind when you're out there fishing those canals, especially for bullseye. But the silver lining is that you have a lot more species you can also chase in there that recover much more quickly. And they would be things like peacock bass, the Mayan cichlids, the Oscars, the Florida gar. There's other options down there. Now what you're going to see in the next half of this day's video, we're going to be heading out there, we're going to be chasing some peacock bass, we're going to be chasing some more bullseye snakehead, largemouth bass, Oscars, cichlids, and clown knife fish. 
So make sure if you enjoyed the video that you like, share, and subscribe. And make sure you ring that bell so you don't miss any more of the action that's getting put out on our channels, be it here on Cambo Shot Fishing or here on Legion of Anglers, depending on where you're watching this video from. So, thanks very much for watching, folks. If we didn't answer any questions that you think you might have, let us know in the comments section. And good luck on the water. Have a good one.